Today on Film Learning, we're going back to the past and going all retro, as well as a sweet new competition for you guys. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And as promised, we're back for episode two of Film Learning this week. Once again, it's another quick tip episode, and this time it's involving this request. Ripstar asked, Hey Grant, when you get time, could you please do the 80s intro and text transitions? So yes, that's right, we're taking on the retro VHS title sequence from a couple of episodes ago. And we're also going to be giving away some cool stuff in a new competition. And just stay tuned for that after the tutorial. Now before we go any further, I just wanted to share something really, really cool. It is Father's Day today, so I'm out here filming while my son's asleep. But I just had to share this clip because it's pure awesome. My son said his first word. There's nothing really left to say except My God. So in order to complete this effect, you need to head over to MrHorse.tv and download Animation Composer 2. We've done a previous episode of Filmland reviewing Animation Composer 1. I'll put the link to that down in the description and maybe throw a card up there. All you need to do is just register an email and then you can download it for free. For free. Thank you Jesus! You can also head to the link in the description and download some cool retro 80s, 90s background templates that I've done a Google image search on, as well as a couple of cool fonts. And that's it. Let's get to work, shall we? Alrighty guys, here we are back in After Effects, and this time we're starting from scratch. I know, crazy, right? So my first thing I'm going to do is head up to composition and add a new comp, making sure it's 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second, and has a runtime of roughly 6 seconds. Because if your title card goes much longer than that, people tend to get a bit annoyed, and we don't want that, of course. We'll name this layer title and hit OK. So our first step is, you guessed it, adding our titles. So I'll head up, grab the text tool, make sure it's centered by clicking the center alignment right here, and type film. OK, that's a little small for my taste, so let's make it just a little bit bigger. Much better. I'll then duplicate that layer, double click on it, and type learning. And I might just make that learn and text just a little bit smaller. There we go. I'll then deselect it by clicking off it, and then I'll reposition it underneath our film text. I just do that to make sure they are aligned a bit better. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Now the reason I've typed them independent of each other is so I can animate them separately. You can see I'm using a font called Folia Mix, but feel free to use whatever font you want too, guys. Now before we animate, let's pretty it up just a little bit more. I'm going to head over to Presets and type Drop Shadow and just add that to our film text. From there, I'm going to turn the opacity up to 100 and change the direction to 80. I'll then copy and paste that onto our learning layer and maybe change the direction to say 210. That way our text has a bit of variation. Now as you can see, if I turn that off and on, all it did was just add a little bit more depth and dimension to our text layers. So in order to animate them, let's select our film text, head up to Window, and select Animation Composer. Now guys, I have it docked onto my workspace just for ease of use, but if you want to do that or not, it's totally up to you. All I'm going to do is drop down Transitions, 2D Text, Animate Words, Scale, Wiggly, and grab Wiggly Scale Words randomly too. Now I do have some of the expansion packs installed, so you may not have this transition in the free version, so if you don't, just cycle through the previews until you find an animation you like. When you find the animation you like, all you have to do is just click and drag it over and drop it on Apply As In. And now, as you can see, our text is fully animated and it took less than a second. I'll now select the Learning Text layer and apply the same animation. Bam! Well, that's done. From there, let's move on. Let's head to the project window and drop our title text into a new comp. From there, it's time to add some cherries to our text to give it a bit more of an old school feel. So we'll head up to Effect, Stylize and add a glow. This time, all we need to do is lower the threshold to 55 and up the radius to 20. That just softens our text just a little and mutes the color. From there, it's time to make it wobble. This is to give it that wiggly hand-drawn feel you see in a lot of old school cartoons. So let's head to Effect, Distort and add Turbulent Displace. Now all we need to do here is change the amount to 20, the size to 8, make sure you're at the start of the comp, whoop, hit the stopwatch on Evolution, head to the end of the comp and change it to say 30. If we check out a preview, you can see it now has that cool wiggle effect. Neat and easy. 
Next, I'm gonna do our triangle shape that swings in. To do that, all I'm gonna do is grab the pen tool and draw a simple triangle. I'll then drop that layer below our text. We'll then head up to Animation Composer once more, open 2D Transformations, Position and Rotate, and grab Overshoot Position Delayed 1. Only this time, I'll collapse the choice down and make sure my triangle will shoot up from the bottom of the frame. Let's check out a preview. Nice. I'll then copy the glow and the displacement effects from our text layer and then paste them on our triangle. Last step is adding a sweet retro background to our layer. This is when I grab straight off Google Images. So I'll drop that right down the bottom, scale it up so it fills the frame like so, and then of course, we'll paste our effects once more on this layer. As you can see, the glow needs a little adjusting. So I'll just lower the threshold to say 40 and the radius to around eight. One last finishing touch, enable motion blur for the comp. And if we check out a preview, that's all done. Now you may have noticed a difference between my title here and the one I showed at the start of the show. And that is that it includes these animated sprites. These are a part of a paid pack you can find on Video Hive guys. They are great and I will leave a link to them down in the description. But as far as this shot goes, we are done. Add up all of those steps and you get something like this. So that's making your own retro 80s, 90s, any sort of title sequence with Animation Composer 2. It's really, really easy to use and it's free. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. As I said in my review of Animation Composer 1, I'm saying it again for Animation Composer 2. This thing is the easiest way to add quick animations to your text or your 3D layers or anything you really want to accomplish. Now guys, I will mention that there's a whole bunch of cool presets within the free version, but if you like, you can head over to mrhorse.tv and see they have a bunch more stuff on offer, including more motion presets, animated illustrations, scene transitions, titles and lower thirds, and also some cool elements like simple swooshes. And just to add another sprinkle of awesome, the guys over at Mr. Horse are offering the first 200 film learning subscribers a 20% discount on any of these expansion packs. All you have to do is use the code FILMLEARNING at checkout. And that to me is pretty damn cool. So as I've been teasing on Twitter and a couple of times on this channel, I want to run a competition. And this is thanks to MrHorse.tv. I contacted them a couple of weeks back after I downloaded Animation Composer 2 and said, hey, this plugin's great. How about we celebrate the release and give away some stuff? And they're like, okay. So here's the competition, guys. What I want you to do is I want you to make a title sequence for Film Learner. Now here are the rules. First off, you've got to use Animation Composer 2. So just head over to MrHorse.tv, register an account, download Animation Composer 2, and you're good to go. The other thing is that you have to be a subscriber to this channel, of course. And lastly, I just want you to like and share this video. You can make any sort of title segment you like, I don't really care. As long as it's fun, it's cool, and it can be used on this show. And when you're done, you can either email me the direct video link, or upload it to YouTube, whatever you like. And then just email it straight to filmlearning at gmail.com. And that's it guys. Entries for this will close on the 20th of September, so be sure to get them in before then. And guess what? Regardless of whether you win any of the prizes, every single title sequence that is submitted to this competition will be on the show. Now we have a prize pack for first, second, and third, and I'll put those up on screen right now. So Mr. Horse has given us three different expansion packs for prizes. The person that comes first has first choice of the three packs, second person has second choice, and the third person gets the leftovers. But since all three packs are awesome, it's win-win. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, KO Ken that subscribe button. We make new videos every single week. Guys, I'm still busting my ass on that Justice League effect. It will be up soon. We do have another vlog video coming in a couple of days. It's just another Q&A session from you guys. I'm gonna run back into the house and enjoy the rest of my Father's Day. But until next week, guys, keep learning.